and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Blind Let's Play. In the last episode, we started the finals matches of the Pokemon League here in Winden in the Galar region. And that entails fighting the gym leaders again for our chance to battle Leon. And we ended up facing off against Challenger Bead once again as well in place of Opal. And that was a lot of fun. We got to see the Hat Pokemon's final evolution. And then after that, we beat Nessa and Alistair. And now all that remains before us fighting Leon is one final match against Gym Leader Ryan, the Dragon-type Gym Leader. And he uses double battles in the weather. And I am so excited to fight him again! He's so fun. And I might get to see the pseudo-legendary this time. He might have that Dragon-type Pokemon, Dreepy. We weren't ever able to find Dreepy because it's in one spot in the wild area. And I kind of saw a glimpse of its final evolution on Twitter, which makes me sad. But I'm still no more or less excited to see Dreepy's evolution. It's a dragon ghost type, and it's the pseudo-legend of this game. And it's only found right here when that weather is happening. And it's not happening. So, unfortunately, we can't get ourselves a Dreepy to find out on our own. But it's a dragon type, and I could totally see him having one here in the championship match. So... With that being said, who do we want to lead with here? Um, this is our first time fighting uh, Rahan now that we have Bulby. So we definitely want to lead with Bulby. But how do I want to take out his Gigalith? I want to give some strategy here. And I'm thinking Mind Shuffler would be really fun to use using Earthquake. But I want to teach Bulby Protect. I feel like that could be a fun strategy. So where is Protect? I bought it. I know I did. I, like, know I bought Protect all that time ago. I didn't buy Protect all that time ago. Okay. No strategy. <laughs> We're not gonna use Mind Shuffler. Let's do it with... Let's do it with Molly. Bulby and Molly? That's a fun start. Let's head out on the pitch and have our final, final match of this Pokemon League here in Winden. Number 280 enters the ring again. Let's go. I'm ready. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? <gasps> will it be the brilliant rising star challenger, Chroma? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? The tamer of dragons, Ryan. Oh my god, I'm ready! Let's do it! You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival and he chose you. So I've got to be the first to prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my team and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. Oh, it's one-on-one! -on -one. No! Oh, that's okay. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Ryan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. All right, time for our rematch against gym leader Ryan here in the Pokemon League in Winden versus Ryan, the dragon type gym leader of the Gala region in number 241. Let's do it, this time in a single battle. First up's Torkoal. Why? Okay, the drought. That's gonna cripple Bulby. I was expecting Gigalith. Uh-oh. All right, I mean, now I need to train my, change my strategy quick because Torkoal brings in the drought. That's drought. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Yes, it does. Okay, Bulby. Um, maybe I can buy myself a little time with Teeter Dance, but I can't have Bulby be out of commission this soon into the fight. He needs to switch immediately, and I think this is where Mind Shuffler is going to fight. All right, Bulby, switch out. Come back. What if he switches? Oh my god, that'd be like some competitive level shit. No, okay, Solar Beam. Solar Beam! Oh my god, Mind Shuffler's gonna get blasted! That might have been the worst switch I could have ever done. Alright, Mind Shuffler took it really well, and Torkoal's pretty slow. Mind Shuffler, I need you to hit this thing with an earthquake. That's it for Torkoal, most certainly. Alright. That's one out of his five Pokemon. It's the only one that's not a dragon, I'm guessing. So we can set up the sun. I'm glad to see that he's got, you know, weather still. I think that's really cool. Next up's Gudra. Okay. Evil Dave. Let's do this. Come on back, Mind Shuffler. I need your help, Evil Dave. Let's do this. 
All right, Gudra has a truck. Tremendous amount of special defense, but not the best defense. That's where Evil Dave comes into play here. All right, Gudra's a Dragon Sight level 54, and I need your help. Evil Dave, hit this thing with a spirit break, and that'll probably be it for Gudra. Yes, it is. Nice work, Evil Dave. All right, three Pokemon remain. The doubles were his advantage. Doing a single battle is definitely going to cause him to lose here. 56 for Dave, 59 for Mind Shuffler, and 56 for Bulby. Evil Dave wants to learn Foul Play. That could really be helpful for this fight. But I guess I could reteach Fire Punch. Foul Play could be really, really good for this fight. But Dave has a lot of attack. I don't think we need it. Dave's attack is going to be better than most things we could fight. All right, Mind Shuffle 59, Bulby 56, and next up is Turtonator. All right, you know what? I beat this Turtonator last time with Project Nova, and I'm going to do it again. Get back, Dave. I need your help, Project Nova. Let's do this, buddy. All right, you've not got the best moves, but you do have Draco Meteor, and it was enough to take out this Turtonator the last time, and you're going to do it again. All right, Turtonator's a Fire Dragon type, level 54, and I'm a Water Dragon type. Water Dragon beats Fire Dragon, right? Let's hit this thing as hard as you can, Project Nova. Draco Meteor! Bring down those meteors and smash this Turtonator to bits. Just kind of like Gudra, but swapped. A lot of defense. Not much special defense. See you later, Turtonator. Oh, yes, my team is crushing Ryan. All right, next up, Flygon. All right, that's where Bulby comes into play. Let's do it. My team counters his perfectly. Project Nova, get back. Bulby, it's time to enter the stage once again. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. You know how it... I know I clapped and then slapped. Shut up. Flygon is next. Dragon Ground Sight, level 54. All right, Bulby, hit this thing as hard as you can, my dude. With a freeze dry. Four times weak to ice. The sand. Oh, for Duraludon. So I guess Flygon's whole purpose is to sacrifice itself for Duraludon. Yeah, I don't like the Sandstorm, I'll be quite honest. Okay, Bulby, freeze dry. Not the strongest Ice-type attack, but it'll be enough for a Flygon. See you later, my dude. All right, all he has left is Duraludon. Now, the Gigantamax makes Duraludon quite the problem because it's faster, I believe, than Mind Shuffler, and we really need Mind Shuffler to take Duraludon out. How fast are you? You're not. So I probably should do this with... Wait, was your speed in the hundreds, Project Nova? My god, why is Project Nova so quick? All right, um, I suppose... Let's let Molly fall to Duraludon and build up some time while the Dynamax falls for Mind Shuffler to come in and Earthquake to finish it off. The fight's sealed, the fight's won. There's really any, nothing he can do here. You do realize I'm the great Ryan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon. That's not gonna happen, buddy. Duraludon is his ace. It's a Dragon Steel type, level 55. Wow. All right. Um, let's hit it as hard as we can with Drain Punch. He's gonna go ahead and Gigantamax because he wants to send everyone in this stadium flying. All right. Gigantamax Duraludon. I love the design. I think it's really awesome. But it's not awesome to battle. <laughs> Look at that. It's a big tower. I love it. Man, the designs in this region are really good. Game Freak really outdid themselves. Did themselves, rather. All right, Molly, hit this thing with a Drain Punch. Break those windows. Did a lot of damage for just Drain Punch. All right, Max Rockfall is going to deal a lot of damage to Molly. Wow, it didn't. Molly's got this. Okay. Molly is really, really, really good. Oh, my God. Rillaboom is insane. It just completely outdamages Duraludon in every single way. Drain Punch on this thing is sick. I don't need to outweigh the Gigantamax. I can just easily do this. I wish you found Duraludon so much earlier. I'd love to use one in my next playthrough. But you don't have much time to use it. Oh, you had to live. I wanted to take it out while it was still Gigantamax. Let's do it. The Dragon Roar is... G Max Depletion is his ultimate tag. You probably should have used that a little while ago. Don't you think? Yeah, Molly's got it. It's over, Ryan. We're going to be the ones to fight Leon, and we are going to fight him and win. Reduced my PP. Did it deplete Drain Punch? Not that it matters, but that'll be interesting. 
Uh, it didn't. Not that much. It should just, like, completely get rid of all of the power points, because that would make it actually game-changing right now, because I'd have to switch. But unfortunately for Rahan, I can two-shot him with Strain Punch now that he's no longer Gigantamax. Really cool, though. I think the Gigantamax and Dynamaxing is just really underpowered. Like, it's, I didn't want it to be broken, but, like, it's super underpowered. Maybe in the hands of, like, competitive battlers it won't be, but you don't need to use it at all. I've not used it one time this entire playthrough on any of my Pokemon, and I've never had the need to. Really easy, but I'm enjoying it quite a bit. That's a Farahan. I'm also slightly overleveled, too, but that just happens with the experience share, but... Oh, well. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. I said I wouldn't do it again, but you beat Rahan, you gotta do you know, some selfies. That's how it goes. I didn't actually take a picture. <laughs> ah, Challenger Chroma sees his victory. There we go. Wow. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up reaching further than you'd ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 280, Challenger Chroma, has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. <sighs> wow. We're fighting Leon next. Wow. Aw, oh, and Teleon's standing next to him. That's really cool. All right, the big moment's finally here, eh? I came just to cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Oh, what? <laughs> right, you reckon I should cheer for Chroma too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Let's do it. Oh, look at Hop's expression. Like... He's like, you can see he's struggling with it. Wow. Is this it? Is this it? Is it time? Who do we lead with? Who did I say I wanted to lead with for? I think I said Evil Dave. Let's lead with Evil Dave. And let's do this right here, right now. I'm ready. I want to fight Leon so bad. I want to see the Pokemon he has so bad. Number 280 enters the ring for the final time. It's time for our final match. We're going to fight the unbeatable champion. Look at him. He's standing there. Oh, I'm so excited. This has, like, been really built up throughout the adventure, and it makes it that much more exciting. I can't wait. No, I can't wait. This is insane. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. I can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past that fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside of their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Gala Regions champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Time! For the champion of our Pokemon Sword and Shield blind. No! Wait, no! Look at the monitor. No, I knew they were going to pull some anime shit on us, like Ash dealing with Team Rocket. Hello there, Leon and Chroma. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. No. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. It's just like the anime. No. <laughs> Lee, Chroma. That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know, but everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? 
got to go see what's going on. I'm the I'm the champion. Yeah. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? He went back into the stadium, didn't he? I want to help my brother, Chroma. I've got to, but I can't even manage to beat you. So what sort of help could I ever be? Just try. But, but what? What can I even do? I hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once, ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did he even hear that name? The statue of the hero. The statue of the hero in Moto Stoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might be sleeping somewhere still, though, right? We should try to find them, Chroma, but where to start looking? Back in the slumbering wheel? That's it, Chroma. I'm sure it'll be in the slumbering wheel. The illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wheel. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Aw, oh, man! I want to fight the champion! But to be fair, we haven't done the story of the legendary stuff yet. That's why I was confused. I was like, is that, like, it? It's Sonya. She's, it's Professor Sonya. Huh? Scroll and hop. Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? My mom's here, too. Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament's off, Sony. The chairman saw to that, and to that, sending the entire region into a state of havoc. Oh, what? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wheel? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over the Hammerlock Stadium. What they're calling it, the darkest day? It's thrown everything in a disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you see the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, for Chroma? To search for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head to the slumbering wheel. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Three max revives. All right, I'm like, where do you get the master ball? We haven't gotten that yet. I was gonna say, did she just give you the master ball right there? It'd be kind of a weird place to do it. All that matters is you do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. That's of course true. We have been very good. <laughs> all right, ready for this, Chroma? I wonder if we're to head straight into the wall of fog again. Not that it bother us now. We've both thrown in the loads stronger, so we have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wooloo that day, that was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. I wonder if I'll see any new Pokemon now. Nah, just rook and and blip bug. I want something new. There could be, I mean, this would be a weird place to put a new Pokemon because, think about it, we would missed out all that time we could have been using it. There's Grubbin, we didn't see those here last time we were here. Or maybe I just missed out. Yeah. I'll, I'll leave whoever's up front up front. Is this where we catch the legendary or is there gonna be like a dungeon to go through? What's going on? It looks like this is a dead end, so. The area's cool. Oh, Galarian Weezing, we haven't found that yet. Like, we've seen it. Well, that's cool. I'm glad there's some stuff here that we hadn't seen yet. Like a dungeon, basically. Oh, Corviknight. Dang. The Pokemon deeper in the woods are dangerous here, huh? Alright, so there's a Corviknight and Galarian Weezing. I don't want to catch the Weezing. Not yet. I would, but I don't want to bore you guys me trying to catch a Galarian Weezing. That could take a while. Corviknight just popping up. I do want to run into it, though. Just to get it in the Pokedex. Because I don't think we have. Yeah, we have. We fought somebody with Galarian Weezing. I don't remember who it was, though. Was that Opal? I think. Okay, it says if it has neutralizing gas at the start. That's kind of like a a nerf to it because it says right away, hey, I don't have levitate. You know, that's kind of dangerous for the wheezing. All right, I want to find the dead end. That way we can get the item that would be at the end of it most likely. Was that Corviknight's wing white? 
Okay, that's a stun fisk. I'm like, wait a second. What is this? I've never seen this before. Why stun fisk in the slumbering wield? It's kind of strange. I mean, it gives it another spot. No, I don't. didn't want to run into the lead thing. I tell you what. Well, I guess it's about time to catch Zamazenta or Zaza Zazamenta or whatever it's called. I think it's Zamazenta, honestly, but we don't know. We'll find out. I mean, I don't know. Oh, hey, there's a Muna. That's cool. I wonder if Muna, Musharna has it. Whoa. Oh, it's just a glowy guy. Should we catch it? I want to catch it. It'll take too long. Well, now that one's glowing. They're all glowing. I don't want to go... Dude, I've been baited into fishing in this game so much. And it's never anything. But if there's going to be anything from fishing, it would be here. That's a barboach. I've found barboach by fishing. The fishing in this game is so bad. There's nothing new. What, maybe an Aracuda? One spot? 10%? I don't have time for that. All right. Item. A life orb. What? You just find... I love that you find the competitive items just lying around. That is so nice. You don't have to grind for them. Maybe grind for extra ones, but that's fair. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm glad we get to do another dungeon. That's nice. I'm glad we get to go explore somewhere. It's, like, unfortunate because we were about to fight Leon, but, like, are we really going to fight Leon right now? You know what I mean? I mean, this stuff could have been post-game, but that seems weird to put the, like, legendary stuff in the post-game. All right, we got an encounter. It's a Corviknight. feels so weird to run into a Corviknight as a random encounter because it's so big. You think, how could you miss it? All right. I should just put up a repel, but... Because I doubt we're going to find any new, new Pokemon in here. That just doesn't really make sense. Like, maybe they should have put Dreepy here. Like, wild area only Pokemon suck. Because... You could literally never get the right weather. That's what's been happening to me. All right, a mental herb. No, that's new. I was going to say, I think we've had one before, but it said it's new. Oh, I think I saw. No, it's so big. The hitbox is massive. Did you see that? I was going to try and run away. I thought I saw a stunfisk in the grass. The little nose thing that I stepped on in the Galar Mines number two. I'll never forget first seeing that Stunfisk. I was like, oh my goodness, Stunfisk has a form. I'm so happy. Hey, an ore beetle. All right, let me out of here. Another glowing wheezing. All right, this is probably the wrong way. The way to get me to the TM. Like, the dead end. All right, what is this? An elixir. Okay. Another ore beetle. And the TM. Wow! TM86 Phantom Force? Phantom Force is a TM? Why? <laughs> All right, I could probably teach that to uh, Mind Shuffler, huh? Yeah, 90 physical. I'll definitely teach that over Shadow Claw. I know Shadow Claw is like crit chance and better objectively because it takes only one turn, but uh, I'll teach Phantom Force. I think that's kind of cool. It'll be a little slower, but it's, it's interesting. Like, how often do you get Phantom Force as a TM? You didn't before today, so... It's unique. So many wheezing. I'll go this way. All right, it's a dead end. What do we got? A smoke ball. You get a smoke ball this late? I mean, it makes sense. Because, like, so then the buying of the polka doll would be pretty much useless. Okay, Hop. I'm going to go this way. Is there nothing there? Why can you even go that way, then? I guess it's a blocked-off path in the lower of the area. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Yeah, it is pretty foggy. Oh, okay, it's getting even worse. My God. I wish we had defog. Whoa, there it is. Oh, there they both are. Wow, they look pretty cool. They look cool. They look a little better without their weapons. Griel and Lord. They really are here. The Sword and Shield Pokemon. I knew it. Why didn't Sonya do this? <laughs> right? Like, all that time she was investigating the area. Maybe they only show themselves to us. I guess that's possible. Where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? So come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those those sword and shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us, but they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. 
then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon Zamazenta. The writings said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wield sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Sony, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and shield that those two used to carry are still here too. I guess that's a good point. Are we and Hop about to be, like, heroes? We're gonna be heroes. How exciting. I am, like, super stoked. Can I, like, surf there? Doubtful. Yeah, I don't think so. It's not very close to the ground. Is this, like, a straightaway? Looks to be the case. This is a new area. Yeah, but it looks like it's just, like, right here. Nothing we could explore. No new Pokemon makes me sad i think i've seen the new pokemon already unless there's like some post game only but that seems super unfortunate i don't know when you take a look at that chroma now that's something you don't see every day this place definitely feels like stuff of a legend i wonder if there's other legendaries besides these two that i don't know about yet that'll be really fun this area looks beautiful it's a shame we can't like surf on it back there yeah, sword and shield. That's a tiny sword. That's like a dagger. <laughs> That's the dinkiest sword I've ever seen in my life. See that, Chroma? The sword and shield. The legends really were true. I want the sword. <laughs> it's not going to let me. Yeah, I'm playing shield. A rusted shield. It is said that a hero used this shield to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow. Would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things really will be able to start the, stop the darkest day, but I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. I wonder if we get to fight Chairman Rose. I want to see his big elephant thing. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to help Lee. This is all the help we've got. We headed back to Hammerlock now? No hidden items back here, nothing? Huh. Yeah, I guess we have to go to Hammerlock now. Well, in that case, let's go to the town map. I could go with Hop, but forget Hop. What's the weather in the wild area right now? It's still the same. That's unfortunate. It doesn't change very often at all. That's Moto Stoke. Well, I can't haul one. Okay, we'll go with Hop then. Fine. <laughs> Hop, I changed my mind. <laughs> Take me with you. I'm going to basically help Lee. It's you and me. Yeah, let's grab a flying taxi. Let's do it. No legendary, I guess, yet. But at some point, we'll be able to catch Zamazenta, I suppose. Not really interested in it. Like, it's, you know, I don't use legendaries. But I'll catch it for the Pokedex's sake. Right, what do we have here? Well, if it isn't Chroma and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and something like this has to happen. Chairman Rose thinking that energy pouring from Darkest Day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Also, excuse me, now I'm thinking about it. Um, is this where we go in that power plant? That'd be kind of cool. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the Darkest Day or the Chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead to help my brother. All right, let me do it now. He's gone. The hop never changes. Always in a rush, isn't he? The key, of that, the key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders worked together with the city's Pokemon got everyone evacuated. And you, you're helping to fix, fixing to help our champion to save everyone in Galar? Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, a great challenger, into the Hammerlock Stadium. Alright, I guess this is probably going to take a little longer than just five or two minutes. Five, two or five minutes. So... With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I got cock-blocked. I didn't get to fight the champion. I'm super unfortunate about it. But super, I'm, I'm exhausted, okay? <laughs> My words lately. Like, I'm not tired. I just woke up. But like, dang. Anyways, it's unfortunate. We didn't get to fight Leon. But we did get to fight Rahan in a really cool match and explore that forest, which was kind of sweet. And now we have to go into Hammerlock Stadium and figure out what's going on here. So we'll be doing that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon videos like this and haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads for this series and the channel as a whole. And with that being said, I will see you next time when we enter Hammerlock Stadium. Until then, I'll see you guys then.
Thank you so much for watching.